Uh, okay, this is going to be, um, well, my next video, video vlog, this is just going to be a brief kind of discussion about what I want from the shooting style and stuff like that, so it won't be as long as the others, but um, just to kind of give you an idea of how I want the final thing to look and stuff like that. <clears throat> you can refer to my previous blog post, I'll have posted up um, little things on my storyboard and shot list, whether or not, like the storyboard we did as, um, well, I did as a uh, uh, photographic storyboard, so I just got a couple of mates to sit down, I sat and looked through the script and just did picture, 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 that kind of thing, so I'll post up, I'll have the po uh, picture storyboard posted up before this one, and um, kind of the shot list is all the majority of my shot list is all kind of um, like manual notes, which is always interesting. So I'll probably be posting up a PDF with my entire notebook on it, full of all the um, stuff that I've put together on the shoot, which will be um, on the on the piece anyway. So you can kind of have a look through that and see what I've been more sort of straight from the horse's mouth, if you will, as opposed to like retrospective vlogging and stuff like that. <clears throat> but yeah, back to the shooting style. Um, what I kind of want from this is I've always um, I've always considered like what I've had in my head is um, basically for for dispossessed as a project I want it to be fresh meat meets the Exorcist so kind of um, fresh meat being Channel 4's um, student uh, university student drama and the Exorcist being the Exorcist obviously and I quite like I've always quite liked the idea of playing on um, playing on kind of TV sort of cliches and stereotypes and things like that with things and um, but chances are that will be um, coming across uh, later on when um, the uh, veritable shit goes down in the piece <coughs> later on but until then it's kind of um, shooting style is going to be fairly played fairly straight it's going to be mainly dialogue scenes and stuff like that with a few kind of um, little flourishes and stuff like that and the bit with like the croissant scene for example that's going to be filmed fairly kind of uh, wouldn't try and make it quite tense to sort of offset the kind of humour of things so it's kind of the funny not quite terrifying but still terrifying that sort of playing on that basically and um, <clears throat> but yeah so uh, shooting on DSLR probably the 550 or the 600D um, Majority of the thing will be mid shots and pans. It's going to be mostly filmed on the tripod and stuff like that. So I'll kind of see how that goes. I think had we had we sort of uh, access to a DSLR rig, I'd maybe consider if I redid this or kind of in the future and stuff like that. When I if I carry on with everything, then I'll um, maybe have a look into working with things handheld because I just I quite like the handheld look to things and stuff like that. The sort of it's not quite as pristine. Looks a little bit more rough and ready and stuff like that. So. Um, That'll be something to think about, but yeah, sort of in terms of the way it is, <clears throat> fairly static, mid shots of each character and stuff like that. Um, I'll be lacing in a bit of POV, which is something I decided when I was looking at the shot list, um, deciding on how I was going to deal with Tony, because as I, I think I mentioned earlier, Tony isn't going to appear in this proof of concept. I quite like what I was quite keen on was the idea of making this all about the all about Mark, Luke, and Paul. So Tony would be kind of this external influence that isn't going to appear necessarily. That's partly for um, convenience sake in terms of not trying to set myself up for finding four actors, which would be a nightmare. But um, <coughs> instead only looking for three, which will save me a great deal of um, great deal of panic in the long run, considering I've only got two minutes, uh, two minutes? Oh, shit. Uh, two months for this project. So, um, on that note, kind of all the stuff of Tony, I think I'm going to film as POV. So kind of, I'm going to rent out the GoPro from the um, from the university stores and sort of just play on getting some wacky kind of GoPro footage, sort of that kind of uh, American Werewolf in London style, like sort of the POV and it's crawling through the bushes and that kind of thing. So um, yeah, I think uh, it's going to be quite simple. I think a lot of uh, the way the shots are going to be put together is obviously, actually this is a stupid statement, going to come through in post-production but my kind of idea for the way I'm going to be doing things is the way the shots are going to be put together and paced is the characters um, their line delivery is going to change quite specifically like when we um, when we cut to Luke chances are that I, I like the idea of there being a little pause before he says anything as if so we've got we've got that cut to him quickly so you're as the viewer are expecting him expecting to have him talk straight away but having that sort of 
second or two seconds of him just silently going is kind of um, it'll add something nice to his character if you see what I mean so it kind of you, you see more of you're waiting for Luke to talk along with everyone else because he's an idiot and Mark for example it'll cut to him so it'll suddenly cut to shot of Mark and he's blah 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 blah, blah, blah. Very quickly, very quick off the mark, fiery, click, 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 that kind of thing. So he's very, um, yeah, and that'll come across in the characters and um, Paul vice versa. But, uh, yeah, so kind of uh, shit as well. I'm trying to think what else to say about the shooting style, really, because I'm, um, I'm outsourcing this sort of uh, director of photography role and stuff like that and any cinematography and stuff, because I want to be quite... Um, I want to be taking my main my main aim that I've said in my learning agreement for this project is what I want to be learning is uh, I want to develop my script writing ability and um, my skills in post production mainly editing and stuff like that and being able to develop my own sort of style but um, we'll sort of see how that kind of all works out hopefully I've got a good um, director of photography Alex one of my mates so I know I can rely on him to get good shots quite quickly and be able to set up for shots that I know are going to look good and as opposed to me doing it where I'm going to be sitting for half hour and the ISO, where do I put the shutter speed? That kind of thing. So, um, yeah, hopefully that will make shooting and stuff a lot easier. But, um, yeah, trying to go a bit more professional this time in comparison to last projects. We're booking out external audio, which is going to be interesting, so I want some nice high-quality dialogue audio so I don't have to um, do quite so much ADR and everything like that. But um, yeah, uh, booking out lighting as well. Obviously, mentioned the GoPro, um, DSLR on the tripod. Um, that should be it, really. I'm filming it in the house, um, so it's kind of it's in my house anyway. So it's kind of convenient and stuff like that. And I'm not going to have to be like on the last project where we um, had an hour's drive. There, well, two hours there and back on the um, on the last projects when we were filming in the New Forest. So it'll be nice to be somewhere comfortable, I think, for filming, which will be good. So I can kind of relax and sort of really think about directing and everything like that. So uh, yeah, I think uh, my next blog post, I guess, is my list. Uh, yeah, if all goes well, I should be discussing the shoot basically. So uh, yeah, until next time, time, time.